Welcome back to Law and Dude on Earth. Thank you for listening to the show today. Let's see what topic we get into after the intro. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Micah with Lawn Do Lawn Maintenance LLC, your host for the evening, for the night, for the morning, for the afternoon, whenever you listen to this podcast, whether it's now, whether it's the future. Real time, we are in August, beginning of August, man. It is August 6th, real time, as I record this podcast. And, um, man, can I be honest with y'all? Can I be honest with y'all right quick, man? This has been quite the interesting year. I was going to say summer, but it's really been the whole year, man. It's honestly been frustrating. Um, I've mentioned in many previous podcasts, you know, dealing with the drought. Like I said, this is a truck tub. This is just what's coming on top of my mind. And it's not a soapbox. I'm not sitting here crying about anything, man. But I mentioned many times, you know, This drought actually affected me more than I ever would have expected. You know, there's so many people out there like, well, you should be expecting something like this to happen. Nah, I'm telling you right now, usually no matter how hot and dry it gets in the summer here in Northern Virginia, usually you still are mowing consistently, even if you got a mow every other week, you know what I mean? Switch it to bi-weekly just for a month or so. I'm in a situation where some people only got cut one time in the month of, um, like in the month of June. And anyone in the lawn maintenance business will be affected by that. So I must admit I did not you know, plan for that to happen. And It has me really, like, scratching my head and, you know, praying on different ways to do things, you know, in the future. Because while I didn't expect this to happen, I feel like I need to find ways to ensure that this doesn't happen again. So, dealing with that. Along with, you know, a little bit of burnout because in this industry, you tend to deal with that. You're mowing lawns every week, a lot of the same properties. But when you add on top of it, the heat and the drought is draining. I'm not saying like, oh, I'm so physically burnt out. I'm saying physically and mentally, it just is draining because it's frustrating not having that income that you're used to so just sitting here and keeping it 100 with y'all man you should not have to go to a credit line in June am I saying that's something I had to do yes I am it's ridiculous too man it's just I guess the way I look at it is even when it does get a little bit dry out here in northern Virginia a lot of times you're able to start aerations in August which I plan to start within the next week or two. Probably next week. Honestly, I'll be doing some regular aerations and fertilization. So it kind of offsets, you know, the fact that you might have to bypass and skip a property. But when June is just completely dry, it's, it's, it's just not really that way. So it's frustrating. 
it's really, you know, it's a good way to test your faith because um, that is one thing I've been strong on is my faith. You know, God will always make a way is the way I look at it. And then I think on top of everything else, what's frustrating is dealing with the same problems we always deal with. People paying their doggone bills on time, man. Like, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I am tired of jumping through hoops the day before, you know, I'm expecting funds to come out because clients aren't paying their bills on time and it's putting you in a situation where you do have to jump through hoops, you know. God has blessed these other alternative ways, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating to have to do this, have to do that. I tell you what, man, it's an eye-opening experience for me. There are a lot of changes that I'm working on behind the scenes, and I will reveal that and talk about them on this podcast when I'm ready to. When I feel like the time is right to, right now is not that time because they are still in the works. But I will say I'm believing that God will provide as he always does. So no matter how like frustrating the situations are, I always keep positive, man. So this little truck talk here really is, you know, just encouraging everyone else going through some of the similar situations, man. Some similar situations. Because everybody has their struggles. Everybody has the rough seasons, man. It's all about learning from them. Don't keep doing the same thing. You know, that's the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again. So if something's not working and you're doing it over and over again, it's insanity, man. And I'm not insane. I don't believe in being uh, insane. So what I'm going to do is make some changes. That's what I'm working on. Um, I, I have to. You know what I mean? Like there is no option for me to not to not do anything, man. I look at my family in the eyes every day, and that is a reminder as to why I need to stay focused and keep working hard. Like, it's aeration season. I am, like, working my behind off to try to upsell aerations. I'm really trying to upsell redoing, like, gravel parking strips, you know what I mean? Like, parking lots and, um, um can't even think straight right now uh maybe parking pads i don't know why i can't think of what i was trying to say there but i'm really working on that uh advertising those services um higher profits but really it's it's the fact that it's easier on the body like running that mini skid steer with that uh harley rake on it it is way easier on the body you might have seen my youtube video where i just did parking strip for one of my value clients um, just last week. So those are the services I'm trying to really build on right now is that narration. So I'm not really too concerned financially. Um, as we speak, you know what I mean? I'm out here doing what I need to do to make sure I'm covered for tomorrow as far as, you know, credit line. But it's frustrating, but once again, got to do what you got to do. Got to do what you got to do, man. And I know come up out this storm, stronger than ever, man. Stronger than ever. And I encourage all those who are going through a little something, something to know. We all in this together, man. Everybody can get through this. Everyone can get through this. I know I'm going to get through it. I'm frustrated by the fact that this was the year I was supposed to actually make it happen for a vacation with my family. We were all going to go on vacation. And it didn't happen, man. It did not happen. 
because I wasn't with the drought. I just wasn't able to make that happen. And to be honest with you, that is motivating me to ensure that stuff like that just doesn't happen like that again. I got to improve on everything. That's why I keep saying it is a learning experience for me. But that's a little update over here, man. Uh, like I said, I'm keeping positive, focusing on aerations, and all that good stuff. How y'all doing out there, man? I know this drought affected just about everybody, especially in the uh, lawn and landscape industry. Y'all take it easy. Peace and be blessed. Thank you for listening to Lawn Dude on Earth. We talk about all kinds of things here. The good stuff, the tough stuff, and everything in between. If you like the show, please give us a five-star review. You can find us on Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. Thanks for tuning in, and have a blessed day.